Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A17, and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this device. So let's get started by opening up our settings. And in here we can start going through the list. I'm gonna start off with the easy ones and just uh, move over to some bit more interesting hidden options later on. So let's begin with the display right here. And here we have the light and dark mode, which you can change to. I'm gonna stick with the light one as I think it just looks better on the camera. And uh, apart from just light and dark mode, we can choose the dark mode settings, which allows us to set it up as a schedule, meaning that during the nighttime it can automatically switch to dark mode, giving you what could be considered the best of both worlds. Uh, now, moving on, we have motion smoothness. For some reason, it's set to standard, meaning uh, 60 frames, uh, but we can change it to, for instance, high. Now, high isn't necessarily that high on here, it's only 90 frames per second, but it's still better than the uh, 60. This will get you nicer looking kind of motion smoothness to when you're scrolling up and down compared to the 60. Additionally also we have the screen mode right here which allows us to change from the natural look. If you find the colors to be a little bit too saturated right here you can change it to natural. Uh, though Samsung did something to the point that these uh, the vivids aren't necessarily that overdone anymore on Samsung's as they used to be generation before so it might not be as important nowadays before natural was honestly the go-to option as specifically like the red colors were just completely bonkers anyway i'm moving back here and scrolling further down we have edge panel which can't see is it? maybe it's already oh it's turned off Okay, so there we go. By default, I think it is turned on. You can see this right here, this edge right here. You swipe up on it. And first time around, it gives you a little bit of a guide, uh, but we have a couple options uh, in here, like the smart uh, features. So usually there's like three of them. So I think this is edited. Uh, and you can also open up applications. You can edit them so you can add more applications in here. And also go into uh, right here by editing apps and clicking on these three dots, we can get rid of the smart crap. I personally don't like it. it. To me, has no purpose. So I'm just gonna get rid of it. And you can also add more applications in here. You can add a lot of applications. You're not limited to just what you can see right here. Uh, you can have uh, number one scrollable list, so you can scroll up and down, and also it will if you add enough apps. So let's do that right now. Oops, I created the folder, which again adds another layer. So just to demonstrate this. There we go. I think that's enough, right? Ah, oh, nope. <laughs> Still need more. Okay, so let's add one last. There we go. And I think now, yep, there we go. It's scrollable. So uh, that's one thing that you can do. Uh, but we're not limited just to applications. If we click on the edge panel instead of turning it on, um, you will have panels, which allows you to add additional panels. So as an example, I can add weather and now I can swipe up on it and then swipe to the side on this panel and it will show me, show me the additional panels like the weather one. Additionally, you also have the option to navigate to the Samsung store, whatever it's called, I don't remember, and download more panels from there. And typically you'd have a button right here uh, also for the panels. I don't, I don't know why it's not visible right now. Just make sure. Oh, maybe that's why. Second and check out if nope seems like that didn't change anything. But uh, most of the time you have the button right here. I'm gonna actually check it on my phone if I have this. Just bear with me. Nope, I also don't have it for some reason. So it might mean that you need to just go to the Samsung Store. But I know that sometimes you do have the button right here. I, I don't know what the difference is. So in any case, uh, I know that you can download more. Now moving on, uh, in here we also have the handle. Handle is this uh, thing right here. Now uh, you can move it around and customize it. So you can move it up, down, 
and you can also make it more or less transparent. I like to personally set it up to be on a highest transparency. I like to keep it where the volume buttons are. Maybe just a little bit lower, there we go. Uh, and now the way it's set, so with the high transparency and uh, it positioned where the volume markers are, if I go back, it will just fully disappear from the view. But because it's right here where the volume buttons are, I can just do this. And I have access to it all the time. Now, another thing that we can do with this panel, because it does have a little bit more functionality, is we can, for instance, grab something like our browser. And let's pr grab uh, maybe YouTube, maybe. There we go, YouTube. And as you can see, depending on where you drop the icon that you're dragging right now, it will either open up in split screen, in pop-up view, or dual split screen. So now we have like the browser and YouTube side by side. You can also click right here on these three dots and maybe swap it around. Now, that's one thing. You can also click on these dots and click on the star. This allows you to add this as a single kind of launch. Uh, so single click opens up both of these at the same time. I'd like to personally add them to add edge panel. So now it should be visible. There we go, at the very bottom. So if I do this, close it up, there we go. You can see it opens up both of them at the same time, making it much more convenient and uh, just nice to use. Now let's go back to the settings and move over to the navigation bar. And here we have two different methods, the buttons and gesture. So I personally like gestures. One thing that you'll notice right here once it actually uh, switches is the bar at the bottom, which also cuts into the text. You can see that the uh, tint of it is being cut out by this white kind of bezel right here, and the text isn't visible through the button. This is pretty annoying as most devices, number one, hide this button and number two, make the background a bit transparent. So it doesn't obstruct your view. Now, it's not much that it obstructs, but uh, and also not always because right here, for instance, it doesn't obstruct it anymore. So it just, oh, and also even better, it disappears. So it's just kind of moronic design, I would say. Um, also, it launches this garbage, so it is kind of annoying. But the reason I'm pointing that out is because if we open up the Galaxy Store. Oh, no, no, just cooperate with me. Just find this. Where is it? I'm trying to search for it. Oh, there we go. There we go. So, in here, you can search for. Good luck. Huh? Am I writing this correctly? Okay. Let me check. I should be writing this correctly, I believe. Yep, I am. So it looks like we don't actually have good luck. Okay, great. Um, so it's a bit of an L for Samsung. Uh, fantastic that you allowed this on one, but not the other. So I guess I'm not going to be showing you this specifically. Typically, you'll be able to customize this bar, but Samsung decided, no, you don't get that privilege. You can go screw yourself. And uh, also, they removed these options because they were previously in the settings, generally here without the need to go anywhere even. Ah, screw you, Samsung. Um, luckily, you're slowly kind of dying out. Anyway, uh, let's continue on. So hopefully this option also might be gone as I haven't checked, uh, as this is a lower end, but let's go into sound and vibration and see under sound quality and effects, we should have separate, uh, not separate, but the, I'm doing low. Ah, we do have it. So adapt sound. You can tap on this, and you can see we have. Let's just tackle it on. We have several options. We have the under 30, 30 to 60, and over 60. 
These refer to your age and uh, what they do is change the equalizer based on the typical hearing loss that you develop over the years. Uh, now, this actually has a better use case scenario, I would say. So if you grab something like your earbuds, for instance, so I have like these ones, whatever. If they are subpar, let's say, and struggle to reproduce some kind of frequencies, you can go to the last option of the personalized sound profile, and this will test your, well, technically it's supposed to test your hearing, but it does it by playing sound from either left or right ear at different pitches. And if your earbuds, for instance, aren't good enough to play that sound to the point that you, you can't hear it, Obviously, that's a more of a limitation of the earbud, and you'd select that you can't hear it. And then the device will boost those frequencies. Uh, typically, it's designed to basically um, counteract your hearing loss to you know, increase the volume of those specific frequencies. But uh, as I mentioned, if your earbuds are the kind of culprit right here, not your actual hearing loss, uh, hopefully by boosting those frequencies, you might start hearing them through your earbuds anyway. So by making them louder to the equalizer, the specific frequency. So that would kind of make your earbuds, headphones sound better. Now the reason I'm constantly saying earbuds and headphones is because this is what it will work with. It does not let me, for instance, choose this without having anything plugged in. It doesn't work through the speakers. It needs to have something like headphones or earbuds. And once you set it up, uh, once it's chosen on one of them and you have headphones or earbuds on, uh, connected and you're listening to something anything it will all be going uh, and being affected by this setting right here and for the most part i find it to be a positive improvement over the sound quality so you can check that out i highly recommend this option anyway with that being said hopefully you found this very helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching